the Nigerian girl in me was ready to give this guy back to bar because why did he actually say, Am I okay? What kind of question is that? But I'm on my knees for that baby because I don't want to lose you. Hey, 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 ta, ta, ta. hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Helena really here again. Mm, so, guys, my, my, my voice might seem a little dim, but. Um, you know, I'm still recovering from my sore throat, so <laughs> just take it as it is. But at least it's so much better than the previous videos I've been posting. So, guys, on today's video, um, I'm going to be talking about. And um, before we go into that, if this is your first time on my channel, T, I I don't know. Before I posted this video, it took a lot of time. Before I posted it, I'm actually getting tired. I need the encouragement I can get. Please, guys, subscribe. I'm getting like a lot of views, and my subscriber count is just slowly increasing. Why my views are increasing? Like, why can't you just subscribe after viewing? Like, please, I'm begging. It's not like I'm even proud. I'm not proud. I'm begging. Please subscribe to my channel, like, and share. Please, like I keep saying, it doesn't cost anything. Just help your fellow human being. <laughs> so, guys, um. On today's episode, <laughs> just say episode, yeah. On today's episode, um, I want to actually start um a UK vlog, yeah, like UK series, living in the UK series, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't film traveling and everything, but I believe I can still do it. But it depends on the kind of engagement and encouragement I get. If not, I'll just sit down and not do anything. <laughs> So guys, on today's episode of Living in the UK, I'm going to be talking on my experience so far, what life in the UK has been like, how I've been coping, the culture shocks, and so on and so on. So guys, I actually did not believe I would actually sit down to say this story someday. It's been the craziest, honestly. If I'm just being honest, it's been the craziest decision ever, or it's been the craziest thing I've ever done, or it's been the hardest thing I've ever done. I think I'll put it like that. So, guys, I was excited to come in here to give birth. Yes, I was excited to like just change my environment for a while. I just took it that I was going for vacation. I actually didn't know I'll be here this long. I thought it's just maybe like one month or two months. I'll be out of here. I'll be back in Nigeria by now. But here I am. And the more cause of the fact that I'm still here is with what is going on in Nigeria now. It's really, our government really needs to help us because a lot of us don't want to be in diaspora. But we just have no choice. It's like it leaves us no choice. You get it? Because by the time you see the conditions of where you're going back to, you're like, do you really want to leave where it's working to just go to a country that you know is crazy and you're speaking to a lot of people they're telling you ah stay where you are oh, no fuel no money this that well aside that i'm about i'm here to talk about uk i'm not here to talk about nigeria because if i start talking about nigeria i might start crying here. like it's always so painful when i talk about that country because i feel like why the people you're even trying to help they don't want to be helped because there are some things that just doesn't make sense you're celebrating so oh. helen it's okay it's okay i always get carried away with you know things that touches my heart the most i do i carry get carried away when i talk about god so guys um i was excited to give birth here i'm very excited and on coming here <laughs> I saw that it's not just like Nigeria that you can just walk into an hospital and give birth. You have to like book an appointment. You have to walk for your appointment. And then when I wanted to give birth, like they were really busy. So sometimes, okay, I'll be booked for today. But when I'll go to the other day, they'll be like, ah, don't worry, since you only do an emergency, come back the other day. Like I had this several times. If you've been following my videos, you will know that that's what happened. I went to the hospital several times. I was asked to go back home. So it's happened to me a lot of times. So that being said, my mom was supposed to come here, but at the end of the day, they didn't give her the visa. I found about that, found out about that before I gave it because my all my heart was like she'll be here before I gave it, and it broke me because 
I'm someone that I don't like stress. Anyone that knows me knows that I hate stress. If this thing is going to stress me, I prefer to avoid it. That's why sometimes my, some of my friends come and like, so like this, like this, like play, like play, hell, you be, you can be alone without nobody. And I'm like, I'm mean, alone, no, I'll not die. So I feel like if I did it, anybody can do it. So it chattered me knowing she wasn't coming, but I'm like, I have to be strong. And another thing that gave me hope was they had to start processing it again. And I was like, okay, maybe the second time, within, before one, my baby is one month, she'll be here. <laughs> you wait till now she's not here my baby is like two months and going to three months so that's why you see we have plans or god has other plans and for real this has really built me like i think i've become like a stronger version of myself because i've done things that i didn't think i would have done normally i had to beat a newborn baby of eight days i've had to take care of two on that two kids you know <laughs> but i just know that you know god gives us what he knows we can handle he cannot give us what we can't handle so it's been it's been cool so guys <laughs> do you know that the uber people here are i don't know it depends on who you meet the, the the people here are not really nice you can meet people that are nice yes well like i've been pregnant Heavily pregnant, like you know, when I came here, when I was here, I was heavily pregnant. Yeah, I went to shop for baby items, and the Uber guy was just looking at me. I was picking my stuff, putting it inside the Uber, picking my stuff, putting it. When I got to my house, the same way, he just opened the boot and was looking at me. Hey, I'm like, let's have my contract, but don't cut you. Hey, that thing that they just made me realize that some of, and I've had like different Uber people because I've, I use Uber a lot. And you see, these ones are really nice. There was even one that wanted to even help me and bring it in my house. I was like, no, 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 that seems too much. Some are really nice. Some are really like rude, like they don't care. And one thing with this place I like is like they don't care. You see, in Nigeria, the way you do things and you feel like people are looking at you, and people are actually looking at you. But yeah, they don't care. Do your things. If you decide that you want to be dressing like a mad person and walking on the road, nobody cares. Everybody's just going to be go, just going to go on about their business. But the thing is, we still see like a lot of things here that relate to Nigeria. Like for example, I've been on a bus one day and a woman refused to pay and she was just trying to do like say she don't pay that kind, you know now. And I'm like, okay, so this kind of thing is so some things that are everywhere, you know, it's not just to Nigeria as alone. So so that was it. And there is another thing that has been like a surprise to me. You know, when I came in and then if you're talking to somebody, like, are you all right? Okay. You all right? Or are you okay? There was a day someone asked me that and I actually felt offended. Like, yes, I've been hearing it, but like, I was trying to get you serious. And the person asked me, and I'm like, which one is the person? No, they asked me, are you all right? But that the person said, are you okay? And I'm like, all the, I was like, what do you mean by my okay? It was the person that was with me had to tell me that. She had to tell me that, no, he doesn't mean it in that way. He means, are you okay? Like, are you fine? Like, you just, you don't even need to reply. You're just trying to, you know, be formal, or be nice, and like say, Are you fine? Like, you're good, right? And I'm like, Oh, the Nigerian girl in me was ready to give this guy back to back because why did he ask me, say, Am I okay? What kind of question is that? But like, <laughs> that's just it. And, you know, <laughs> I've had a lot of crazy experience here, but in all, in all, it's not been so bad. It's been good. Talk more of like the I packed full stuffs when I was coming. I was only looking where I packed full stuffs. And at the end of the day, I come in here and I saw that some of these full stuffs were a waste. I'm gonna be doing um, a video on full stuffs to bring and you know the one that is not needed. So guys, it's just been hmm, from one thing to another, but like now I've gotten the hang of it because if I can do this, anybody can do it. So don't think it. You know you want to give it and you don't have anybody that will help you. You can do it. Trust me. You can do it. Yes, my cousin is with me. She has been a lot of help. I think even without her, I would still be able to do it. Yes, because <clears throat> you just have to learn to cope. You get. You just have to learn to cope. And I didn't pressure myself. Right after I gave birth, you know, this pressure we put on ourselves on trying to lose weight trying to do this trying to do that i just had to relax i had to take a step back and chill 
I just did anything at that point that could make me cope. I ate a lot. I ate a lot of mid midnight snacks. Even now, I try to lose weight and it's difficult for me. But I know I'm still going to lose weight. I don't. It's still not the top of my priority. My child now is the top of my list because I know the time will come. She won't be dependent on me, and I can do all these things I want to do. So then, what I used to do, I used to watch movies. I used to eat like whatever I want to eat. I just eat them. Like I'm like a big, a big. I just need to stress on one thing at a time. So the experience has not been a good one. It's not been a, an easy one, but a good one because so far I look back and I'm pretty firm. Like, okay, I, this is actually not a bad idea. You get it. And it's actually making me think I want to stay here. Yes. I never thought I'd be in this position. I never would have been the one to say, I want to pack up my bags, leave Nigeria, leave my husband and stay alone with my kids. But yes, this is where it is now. This is where I am now. And I've seen that the system here works. This system here is different from Nigeria. So do I really want to take my kids back to the system that doesn't work? This system protects its child. I've just been here for a few months and hmm, I know that I'm all, they know they use my picking play even Brian, I know even with the fact that Brian is grown, the other is a place, talk about baby that is now a British um, citizen. Hmm. So, um, for now, we are here, we are here, we are still hoping and we are still praying that the country gets better, Nigeria, our country gets better. Yes, if it gets better, we'll surely be there, we'll surely come back, you know, because everybody loves Nigeria, everybody loves their country, everybody wants to be in their country. And Nigeria is actually a very fun country to be in. Um, guys, um, if I get to know like a lot of culture shocks more, um, I'm gonna let you know about it. But for now, that is all. And I want to talk about you know the fact that somebody is greeting you being friends and it's like, these are the smile they look at you. Now, if I see them, I don't answer. So, like, why are you pause? Just. It's funny. If you want to smile with me, smile with me. If you don't want to smile with me, just go. Why you? Why you was? <laughs> it's really funny, but with time you learn not to get offended with a lot of things you get. Yeah, and here you meet nice people. At the same time, you meet mean people. You meet people. Even this info doesn't just. It's not just about all that. <clears throat> other people it's even with nigerians you meet like a lot of mean nigerians oh so if relocating to the uk of giving birth in the uk or wherever country you want to is on your plan do it it's totally worth it please it is worth it because the experience here after giving birth has been oh my god do you know that that one month, the first month, I had like a lot of visitors. I had the midwife coming. I had the health visitor coming. Even at some point, I had to go to um, the hospital to get the midwife. They, they couldn't come in. I've done the hearing test. I've done the sp like a lot of things I did not experience with Brian. Like, do you, they, because these things are actually things that should be done. Because this what happened when I gave it to Brian is I didn't know Brian wasn't getting enough milk when I gave it to him. How could I have known when there was nobody to check up on me? There was nobody checking up on me um, to check on his weight. But here, the first week they came in to check his weight. The second week they came in to check his weight. Then they waited till one month to check her weight, sorry. And, you know, on and on constantly, they have been coming to check check up on her. Okay, even if when they're not coming to check up her, you just maybe might have an appointment in the hospital that you're still going to go to the hospital, you're still going to um, check, check her weight. Even... With breastfeeding, I have like a breastfeeding um, consultant. I can consult them anytime, anywhere. They even have a working session. They have a Zoom session. Like a lot of things are just working. I know, yeah, some people are like, eh, their GP is the book appointment. They don't, please, they still have the good parts still beats the bad parts. If Nigeria can be like this, where, where are we going to? Do you get checking up on the like that is just i didn't stay the day i gave birth in the hospital i left that same day but in nigeria you stay one week and i don't have to everything they will not still notice everything they checked everything before i left the hospital that day, and they still make sure they were following up on me so guys if anybody you want you're watching this video and you want to do something it's part of your plan and you're thinking no it's going to be too hard 
it is totally worth it it is worth it i'm saying it because i don't regret yet it's been the hardest thing i've done so far in my life but i do not regret any bits and i'm not going to trade it for anything all i want right now as a mother is the best for my kids you know and the best for me because when i'm ready and i'm ready to work i'm up and doing i can do I can always get a job I can do from my home, depending on what I'm doing, depends on my career, depends on my course. I can always get like any job I want to do. You get so guys, it is what it is totally what it is. And some people might make it not pleasant, but it's nothing. We're good. At least now at some point we're looking for an apartment, but we're still in the same apartment, but at least we got an apartment. We're here because there are a lot of people looking for houses. Um, a lot of people came into the UK this period, so houses are like hard to get and are really expensive. So we are looking forward to a house very soon, but we're staying in an apartment for now, and it's a comfortable apartment to get. It's not like what we have in Nigeria, but it's comfortable because you know our houses, the, the houses here are very small. You know, in Nigeria we tend to build big houses and everything, but I don't know if you say that. What do you need the big house for? When you can just be comfortable, even the small house is just easy for you to maintain. Not all these big houses, and at the end of the day, you can't even maintain it. You can't maintain compound. You can't maintain everywhere. So, it's just really nice here. You know, another thing is um the the cold, having to cover up every time with your jacket. Oh my God, how can I get used to that? Well, you just have to do it. Like actually, this clothes I was going out and then I'm like, it was not time I am prepared early. I'm like, let me just sit down and do this video before I go out. You see. I'm sitting to wear a jacket on this coat. <laughs> See, I used to have to I still have to wear a jacket on it because if not, cold, <laughs> the coat is gonna finish me. I still have to wear a jacket. So it's been amazing learning. I mean, learning, learning new culture, learning new things. So in all, like I keep saying, all grateful to God because some people ask me, how am I doing? On the bus with two kids and i'm like i have to, I have to save my uber money please uber is very expensive here. like i don't know i think it's because it's not because i'm changing it from naira to pounds it's not because of that because even if i'm earning in pounds because i'm going to this place and you're charging me 13 pounds that is i'm going from here to you you're charging me five pounds that's just four thousand something ah the expensive uber is expensive home Best thing is just have your car. But like with car, you still get a lot of parking tickets and stuff like that. Well, it's still better. At least you know where you're parking and where you're not parking. I prefer to have a car than to be doing this Uber thing up and down. So, guys, that's all for today's video. You know, that is all for today's video. If you enjoyed today's video and you want more topics like this, say it in the comment section. So, guys, till next time, bye. And do not forget to subscribe, okay? <laughs>